way. The bigger you go, the bigger you save with Flow's new prepaid combo plans. This is how we flow. It's a super big blowout sale. Don't miss this opportunity to start up your own restaurant. Come on down to Balahu Restaurant in the Circus Bastere, Wednesday the 21st to Friday the 23rd of March, and get your pick of gently used commercial appliances and furniture, like cups, glassware, eating and serving utensils, tables, chairs, fryers, deep freezers, large food storage coolers, and more. Sale times are 9 a.m. to 12 noon, Wednesday to Friday at the Balahu Restaurant. Be the first to get there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, King Elimat. Our theme song, so to speak, asking us to give the culture a break. And when we say culture, we are not just talking about the folklore, the Macajumbis, the Calypso, the Carnival. We are talking about culture in its widest sense, which is sim- simplified the definition, simplifying the definition, culture, the way of life of a people. Anything we do or say a people could be identified with. And of course, there are quite a few things that we as Ketitians and Divisions, positive things that we can be identified with. Our hospitality stands out among everything else. Our ability to punch way above our weight. Our football, national football team reaching as far as 73 in the world out of 209 countries. 73 could imagine ranting and raving with the big countries, the Brazils, the Englands, the Germanys, the Canadas, etc., etc., the Mexicos. And volleyball, I don't know how many of you would be aware that our national volleyball team, St. Kitts Nevis national volleyball team, we're ranked 66th in the world. When we thought football at 73 was super, 66, <coughs> that's a lot better than 73, and... These are the things we're gonna, we should, we need to make big issues about it. I do start off by extending condolences to the families who would have lost loved ones over the last, well, since we would have been here the last time. And uh, when 
we lose persons by especially by these means they affect us culturally and that is a topic we're going to be having and looking at how the crime so to speak affects us from a cultural point of view is that really cultural is that part of a culture our culture is it becoming part of a col our culture that's a topic we're going to be having a few guests in to discuss with us and uh, want to say condolences on the bright side we want to say congratulations to dr william connor primary school out of the village champsville as it is called i understand that there is some maybe formal official move to change the name from the village to champsville i mean they're enjoying a, a tremendous run an awesome run this year well for the over the last 12 months period if you want to look at it that way they won the, the football team won the Carnival Cup. They're in the semifinals for the FA Cup. They're in the semifinals for the Easter Cup. They're currently leading in the Premier Division. And Ra Dr. William Connor Primary School from up in their region, winning the Rams Primary Inter Primary School Championship. Not once, not twice, but three times back to back. The first team, first school to have ever done so. They broke a record last year by winning the number of gold medals. They broke it again this year. They got 19 gold medals this year, which is another record. The team that came second, they gave them a 2-1. to one. In cricket, we're talking about 2-1 to one because if I bat once and make whatever score, and you bat twice, and I out you down both times, and you don't make my score, you get a 2-1. to one. That's what we say. And... Uh, Charles E. Met, uh, sorry, that's Sandy Point Primary School. They would have gotten a 2-1 to one because they only won eight gold medals. Eight into 19, that goes two and a piece. Almost two and a half. So, And again, another record. The first time they've had that wide ma a margin in terms of the distance between the winner and this, the runner of the second place. So Dr. William Connor Primary School... They're really on a roll. Whatever you guys are doing there, keep on doing it. Hey, you have to make it last. No doubt you're going to try to go for four peat next year. And I, I think it's only one thing. The other schools would have other ideas about that. Well, we haven't quite opened the line. I'm just giving an introduction, so to speak. But we have a first caller on the line. Hey, caller, good morning. Welcome to Voices. We lost that caller. And um, Voices is really your show. So though we didn't know that, we would consider it. And, of course, the TDC into school championships. And the good thing about it, Rams, a sponsor for Voices, TDC, a sponsor for Voices. And uh, according to the Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister of Sports at the press conference said last week by the SK and AAA, when it comes to sponsorship in the Federation, TDC is the longest serving sponsor. That's my understanding of anything, of any event, of any whatever, any team. TDC is the longest sponsor because they're sponsoring this thing for like, what, 41 years, I think it is, that the inter school has been going on. And uh, it's coming up again weekend. Sandy Point, uh, let me just back off and say it. Charles E. Mills Secondary School from out of Sandy Point. They are going to try to make it five peat, five in a row. And this is not the first time I think they would have had one five in a row. They've won this championship something like 20 something times, 23, 24, 26. And really dominating. And no doubt Dr. William Connor would want to emulate that kind of performance easier said than done of course and hey we're coming down to a lot of action here west indies in the icc cricket world cricket qualifiers hey for you to be a west indies supporter west indian cricket team supporter you have to have a strong heart you don't know which west indies team is going to show up and after having a perfect record in the first stage Round one, which is the group stage, playing four matches, winning all four. Here comes Afghanistan in this first Super Sixes matches. Afghanistan defeated West Indies in the warm up, one of the two warm up matches they would have played. Coming back and defeating West Indies when it mattered. Coming back, defeating West Indies in their first Super Six game. 
and Afghanistan scrabbled, really scrabbled to get into the Super Six. But at the end of the day, that wasn't important. What was important, they were in. And uh, we've always been hearing about small acts coming do cutting down big trees, the David and the Goliaths, and things like that. And Afghanistan once, not too long ago, considered a minnow of cricket. And they have been making some good strides. One of, a few, one of their players, he plays for the St. Nevis Patriots. I think it's the captain, a very nice all-rounder. And a few of their players are playing in the other T20 leagues around the world, the IPL, the Indian Premier League, the Pakistan Cricket League, Sri Lanka has a league, the Big Bash in Australia, and, uh, of course, here in the Caribbean, the Hero CPL, which is going to be coming up sometime soon. And uh, West Indies, they have another big game to play, their final big game, Zimbabwe, which will be on Wednesday. When Zimbabwe, way back when used to be a minnows, I'm not certain they can be considered that. They have test status, won the status, enjoying their full member of the ICC. And they came out of being second behind Scotland. Could you imagine the Scotland, known for football, the Scottish, the, the Premier Leagues, etc. But Scotland came out of Group B, winning, leading the tables. And it so happened that West Indies defeated them. And now they have to defeat Zimbabwe to ensure they go to. Was Zimbabwe to beat them, then they'll have to depend on all kind of things and... Would that happen? Could it happen? I'm not certain, but they wouldn't want to, we, to do that. And once they defeat Zimbabwe on Wednesday, it would mean then they are automatically into the finals, and the two teams into the finals will get automatic berths to the ICC World Limited Overs Championship, the Cricket World Cup, in 2019. And, hey, West Indies, they are there. And to the fans that don't want to watch the game live, they want to hear about it after because they can't take the excitement, the drama, the on the edge, on the seat thing. Hey, you have one more day to go through before that goes on pause. And why well, could you believe it? I've been doing a bit of talking for the time being. So let's go to the break, TDC Rams and Flo, and thank them for allowing us to have voices here on WinFM 98.9. Now, we do have a guest in studio. And we'll introduce him when ah, I let the cat out of the bag. I said him. I should have said introduce the guest, have you keep you guessing. And but well, let's go to TDC Rams and Flo and say thank you. Call it all fours! Call it all fours! The place to shop in the month of March is the TDC Home and Building Depots. You heard right. Get 20% off all agro products. Participate in the in-store demonstrations. And on Saturday 17th, visit the farmer's market to purchase your fresh produce direct from the farm to your table from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. in both locations. TDC Home and Building Depots. Celebrating farmers, supporting communities. Terms and conditions apply. See stores for details. I'll take a small. Double XL! That's the size for me! Mill's new prepaid combo plans have the most choice and value for everyone. Save up to 90% by combining your talk, text, and data into one simple plan. And with options starting at just $19.99, it's easy to say it, type it, or share it. A whole lot more for a whole lot less. Dial star 129 pound now to activate. The bigger you go, the bigger you save with Flow's new prepaid combo plans. This is how we flow. Here comes the sun, sun quick. Here comes the sun, sun quick. Sunny flavors for everyone, natural, tasty, full of vitamin C. The drink for the whole family, it's sun quick. Sun quick drink concentrate gives you 40 glasses, nine delicious flavors to choose from. Orange tropical mango, peach orange, orange apricot, black currant, apple, red orange, red fruit. Like us on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash Ram Supermarket. Follow us on Twitter, www.twitter.com slash Ram Supermarket. And subscribe to us on YouTube, www.youtube.com slash Ram Supermarket. Start to think of carnival, you think of we. 
But at the end of the festival, no proper price and little money. Yet when you ready to advertise your celebration, you still expecting a new tune from Wikalipsonian. Then on price giving day, to the queens all the prices you give. Now tell me how you expect Calypso to live. You organize cocktail, give queens drinks to sip. Calypsonians only swallowing spit. That's killing the culture. Tell them that's killing the culture. You interview the queen on radio and television. You never do that for the Calypsonian. You're killing the culture. You're killing the culture. Chairman, husband, the fellas blaming you. So come tell me now what you plan to do. Is it forever? All you go keep killing the culture. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kaiso Reggie, killing the culture. Hey, I particularly like a line in there. You organize cocktails, give queens drinks to sip, but Calypsonians only swallowing spit. <laughs> hey, I, I've learned in life a few persons we shouldn't really mess with. We shouldn't mess with people in the healthcare because you go to them sick and well, your life is in their hands. You shouldn't mess with people who feed you because, again, your life is in their hands. You shouldn't mess with journalists. Because once they haunt you, hey, they could make you have a bad day any day. You shouldn't mess with MCs. People, you go to a show, an MC on a stage, don't mess with the MC, man. He don't know you and, hey, by the time he finishes with you, the whole world will know you, <laughs> whether it's true or not. And you shouldn't mess with a Calypsonian. Don't ever mess with a Calypsonian. They put out a song on you, hey, dog dead. And you're listening to... Voices here on WinFM 98.9. Today is what we call Cultural Tuesday. It's voices with a, a little twist, a little difference. We don't talk about hey, the governments and who's doing good, who's not doing good, roads need fiction, electricity here and there, the number of tourist ships coming. What we talk about, things that affect us culturally. Politics is an integral part of culture. It's a topic we will have to touch sometime in the future. Religion is another one that we will have to touch and... That's in the future. You're listening to WinFM 98.9. I'm Troy Biff Mills. I must say thank you for TDC Rams and Flow for hosting, allowing us to have the program, allowing me to host the program here on Cultural Tuesday. And uh, culture is an everyday thing. It's a program where we let you know what we are doing at the Department of Culture. But not only that, what is happening in St. Kitts Nevis culturally in the world, really. And... Uh, we have with us in the studio our special guest, no stranger to the media, no stranger to WinFM, no stranger to Voices. And let me say good morning, sir. Welcome to Voices. A pleasant good morning to you, Mr. Troy Mills, and to the entire St. Kitts um, population, the Caribbean and the wider field, the region. <coughs> My name is Winston Zach Nisbet, um, MH, Medal of Honor. I got that about five to six years ago. My whole thing started as a youth. As a youth at the age of seven, the aptitude for our cultural heritage was always instilled within me through my uncles, <coughs> my godfather, who was a cakewalk dancer and who actually made my first clown suit at the age of seven as a little boy under the banner. I can recall um, leading the clowns at some time. I entered the, um, the first Cary Festa, 1972. I can remember leading the dancing out there. For St. Kitts, we had people like, um, we had um, Juni Leibard, we had Stegumba Brown, we had Mouse, um, we had Sebastian, Tabu Val, we had Bouncing. All those persons went. I was 
in, very instrumental in that. And the thing about it is that when we went, it wasn't like carrying 100 persons. It was carrying like a 20 person group. But those 20 persons had to be able to dance and to fit in anyway. We, we had to dance clown. Then while the clown is playing, the band out on the stage, entertaining. Then you have to run inside, change into masquerade clothes. Then while the big drum out there playing, then we had to run inside to change, to come out with um, with uh, maple dancing. And then while that outside there, we had, to, we had the bull then. That was Cyril, the real bull. And Cyril, two horns was sharp like a razor, you know. Cyril used to boot for real. I could remember we had to be flying to Cyril leg and so. And if you <laughs> make a mistake and you boot up on Cyril foot, and you, you ain't willfully trip him, but he, he stumbled for some reason, Cyril just tell you, put in the music. And is go man go, you better duck, or he going to rip your shot back. Because his horns were very, very sharp. So I had those good old days. The... 1981 Cary Festa, I led the delegation there again to all of the different dances and so that's in Barbados. So the first one in Barbados and Cuba, I got sick before that, but I was the one who trained them, run them at mornings down West Farm, back up, exercise them and that sort of thing. But my whole life has been involved, intimately involved in our cultural heritage, the whole development, the whole hundred yards, nothing, nothing short. The, the inspiration always come from within, and that is a good thing. The, the clown dancing was my favorite thing, as I indicated. I lead the clown dancing more than once. And in fact, I had clown troops. I had over 200 persons when we were down at Cathy Alley. And we had, um, well, the clown, the cake walk. We'd have had the, the, the Lancers, the Virginia Reel, the Samba, the Polka, the Walls of Ramo. We also had the um we had the the Jap the Japanese girls and they were dressed in the kimono. But of late they used the short skirts. The the Uncle Sam as the American Stars and Stripe, the John Bull, the leggings and the top hat with the morning coat as your own coat. And we also had the the, the sailors, we had the, the the what you call the butlers, those were waiters with all black black shoes with a buckle and a red shell jacket. And then we had the Scottish Islanders who wore tilt and that sort of kilt, you call it. The long pleated skirts. And so we had that. And we also had the millionaires who were dressed in all white in the, the white shirt, white pant, white coat, white tie, white planters hat, white shoes. And they would carry the most famous millionaire of the day. So those were some of the days I can recall doing it with the Virtuals High School one year with Mr. James, Clyde James. It was very successful on the teacher, Miss Richardson. So I've been involved in the whole thing, not the whole ropes and everything. So you don't have to bring in anybody from anywhere throughout the world to, to provide our culture. And I was glad for the, the opportunity when Mr. Troy and, and the minister contracted me the past two years to try and bring back the culture to our schools, Do, that, is very, that is very significant. I've won several medals. In fact, I won the first Caribbean. I was the first to, to, to be honored with um, the, um, what you call the unsung hero, first by unsung hero. By the Barclays Bank back back then. It was Barclays Bank then. then first it went, Caribbean. Then it went to first Caribbean. Mm -hmm. But I was the first in St. Kitts, Nevis. They gave me 5,000 US dollars and the crystal glass trophy. That was then. Then I won, as I said, I got a national award. That was when the independence, first 1983, I was the youngest to get one for culture. And then the, the Medal of Honor, I got that for documentation, for historical and cultural research and documentation. That was a few years ago. So I don't know what's next coming, but the thing is that my whole life has been dedication, application, inspiration, and motivation. And as long as I'm alive, the culture will be inspired. And as I indicated just these few years, the, the, the revival of the culture was imminent. It was important to get it going. And in fact, when we are doing it, you have to put your all into it. You have to look down the road. Bec it's not easy because with our young generation today 
you must have a sense of commitment and you must have a sort of creativity within you. And the, the Ministry of Culture decided they want back some of the old-time things. I can remember also, too, I taught clown dancing in the Newtown Primary School. I attended the large school right in front of the fire station under teacher Tucker and Miss Richardson. So there's where I got my inspiration from. Some people like Analda Bailey and all of us, we were in class together. The land of bat and those persons. The, the, the whole thing is that when you have that sort of upbringing, we went to, I remember teaching the clown dancing. There, there are some of the women, big, big now, we had about 30 something students. And I taught them the clown dance. They had the clown troupe for carnival. I was the one teaching them. And I am going to bring it back with the cakewalk because the time is not there for that now, probably later down this year. Because you have to teach some of the dances and the clowns must be disciplined because you must have the gloves on. The, the, while you're while coming in my troop, it's just a few. It's about 20, 25, and you must be able to dance because I am going to teach you dancing myself along with one boy, one boy in your town. He's always my second. Which He's are you exact? Yeah. One boy, that's the name of somebody. That's the name of somebody. I thought you say you I thought, I thought <laughs> you meant that some other person no. you uh, I'm gonna help no. you. I know the other some person is one boy. That's, that's the, the name nickname. everybody now he has. He lives one down boy. in front of Toto Shop. Okay. Very good dancer as well. Mm. So he we are going to do something because I have a stage where I am now and we are going to organize something. We don't want no any and anybody there because you must be disciplined when you come in there. Can't come in there with your indecent languages and want to do as you like. You have to go through the sequences of dances. You must have on the, the, the cush on your on your hunter. You must have on a mask, you must have a stocking on your face and you must go through the routines. And that 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 will be done. At present my hands are filled, as you know. But we started with the mummies in large school. And I must report to Mr. Troy that the, the mummies, we had to fight, fight, fight with it. In fact, one of the girls living right in front of me, a little girl by the name of Blossom, she performed Christmas with us and she was good. And she'll be with us all the time. So you have a female performing mummies. I know about not, female not one. We have I know both. about female performing mass grades. Mm. And then we've seen female performing the Marco Jumbies. Yeah. Now females into the mummies. We have more, more females now because sometimes you think the men and the lessons, we had problems with it because, number one, the parents need to help them because sometimes they go home, they don't even know what they're doing. But I was able to sit down with some of the parents and so, and the teachers are getting interested now. And I've been in the schools there for the past two weeks, Troy. And let me tell you something. We have a regeneration within the, the youths. Some, we mostly looking at the grade three we even have grade one grade one and there's a little boy acting the um he's acting the captain good 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 the, the, so they're ready trust me the girl a girl is acting the part of saint george she know the lesson inside out the giant is a female you, you, you understand? You're women taking over this thing. I tell, no, I tell you, this is see, that's the large school. Well, of course, if the, the boys are not doing it, it has to be done. Man, I've been very impressed with them. A little boy, they're doing Black Prince and, and Palestine. And it's the Violet Petty Primary School. The, the, no, that's Violet Petty, yes, over large. large There's yeah. a, the guy, he, he can't um, maybe um, look and, and, you know, at the academical thing is not to this. But the thing is, I teach him out of my head. And let me tell you, every day the guy come in, I am Black Prince of Palestine, born of fire renown. Soon I will cut your lawless courage down. Five days of Irish conquer with tongues and fogs. Give thy sword or else I'll give your carcass to the dog. And I put him in front of the head teacher and the others the other day. The next little one. And the head teacher watched them open his eyes. Because, you know, it's coming out. Mm -hmm. And I find the teachers now so calling them and saying, Why you do this? You know? This kind of thing, so they are ready. Like and the kettle drum player, it's a big guy, but a little guy they're learning. The the nigger business, I'm very impressed with them. From the, this is from um, Zach, um, could I ask you to hold as we have a call? Good morning, okay. caller. Welcome to yeah. Voices. Yes, good morning, Mr. Troy Mills. Um Zach, this is the man who um my father is the man who used to make whipping saddlers. Yes. Mr. Troy, I in the competition some years ago in St. Kitts at the Sadler School, mm -hmm. and we come first. And since then, I've been trying to find out 
what year it was, and nobody could give me any information. So could you help me in trying to find out about this thing that Sadler's School come for some years ago in, 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 in carnival competition? Yes, I was there, yes. I'm the one who... Uh, that was them. in the children's carnival. What section was it? It was children's carnival. Yes. But you see, we had them category. We had, we had, um, we had a section for Christian part. We had the biblical part. We had the. Zach, hold, hold a second. You're there still, caller. What, yes. what? Okay. What I'm gonna do? You said Sadlers. I know there was a time when the children carnival, it was done by schools and it was more competitive. It was a competition, and you say it was the very first time that Sadlers School enter, the and we come forth. And okay. I, I know the, um, the, 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 um, our coach is still alive. I'm going to try to get a letter um, somehow with somebody to him and ask him what time it is. And, but I've been trying, I've been asking ZIZ, and nobody seems to have no information about it. Okay, so I'm going to try. I can tell you this. The, there's a, an exhibition. The Chairman of Carnival has been working on an exhibition with the various winners of Carnival, going to find out who won what when and that has been a challenge for him identifying well some of the things are readily available and in some areas it's a little challenging uh, like the best of the rest for example who won it when and way back when the soka monarch who would have won it where when and it is to get this documentation and have it in order because that is something that he's working on the recording element of it to have it filed so something like this hey we could call the yeah. office they're not full time but call them and boom boom and in five minutes but um can my number is six six eight two zero five five six six eight two zero five five where is this pen hmm. okay you say your number is six six eight two zero five five yes i can't hear you too good now six six eight six Six eight two zero five five two twenty fifty five 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 five. So can Thank you, you so much, Mr. Troy Mills? Okay, my pleasure, sir. So could you call me or WhatsApp me? I'll get your name and I'll know how to contact you. I'll try and get that information for you, sir. And of okay, course, thank you so much. And uh, of course, anybody out there who would have performed with Sadler's Day when Sadler's won, if you could call and give some information, we'll be greatly appreciative of it. Thanks a yes, lot for thank calling, you. sir. Thanks for listening to the program. All right, man. Okay. And, Zach, before you continue, I think this is a good time for, for us to go to a break and say thank you to TDC Rams and Flo for allowing us to be able to bring voices to you. I'll take a small. Double XL. That's the size for me. Flo's new prepaid combo plans have the most choice and value for everyone. Save up to 90% by combining your talk text and data into one simple plan. And with options starting at just $19.99, it's easy to say it, type it, or share it. A whole lot more for a whole lot less. Dial star 129 pound now to activate. The bigger you go, the bigger you save with Flow's new prepaid combo plans. This is how we flow. It's Easter, and it's time to hunt your prize. Come and celebrate Easter at the City Drugstore Nevis. Here are the rules. One, visit the store. Two, browse for what you want and browse some more. Three, choose wisely, and if you present a product with special clues, you win. win, win. Prizes include discounts, TDC gift cards, sweet treats, and much more. What's Easter without some shopping fun? So visit the City Drugstore this Easter and win big at our Hunt Your Prize promotion. Oh, yeah. Quench me thirst, a bus that time now. Watch me a bus that smile now. Ah, boy. Freestyle, free bus that a freestyle. Watch me a play and full color meanwhile. Holy leap of flavor. If you want of them tries to the drink, you're refreshing and nice. Let's say your boss to me buy you with my money This is everybody drink and know me one love me I'll be there for the kids then that they are mommy <laughs> Boss to me playing full color Carry, I am T Man, anything can 
have to hear them. Still they say they can't rise. They are repeated the victimized. But this full time we see, we should do something fast. If we want to preserve our past. All the cultural aspects of this small island have been left in complete oblivion. So let the culture live, let the culture live. Don't care what they say, don't care what they do. Let the culture live, then we all could be proud of the big dumb I say and the old mass we play. Then we can pay tribute to the men of the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Contender. Contender, that was when Contender was a lot more youthful. I don't know how many of you could remember that. Let the culture live. And that is what today's Voices is all about. We call it Cultural Tuesday. We look at voices from a cultural element. And, of course, for that to happen, we have to thank TDC. We have to thank Rams. We have to thank Flo for coming on board and partnering with us. I am Troy Biff Mills from the Department of Culture. My esteemed guest today is Zach Nisbet, Mr. Winston Zach Nisbet, MH, Medal of Honor, and known to most and many, the Doctor of Culture, who said he started dabbling with the culture seven years when he was seven years. But Zach, how did you get the name Doctor of Culture? I've always been involved in things of such nature. The, the cultural aspect, both historical and cultural. And I've always done a lot of reading. In fact, I can recall acting a play in the boys' school at one time. It was, um, it was um, Zacchaeus come down out of the sycamore tree. <laughs> that is where I got the name from. Oh, that, and it was so beautiful. Well, that's a question I would have yeah, asked. Yeah. So that's how you got Zach. Yes, it was so beautifully executed. I think it was underneath of... Um, Mr. Amory or some one of them. But anyhow, the fact is that we had to do a lot of drama in school. And this is what the kids need, need, need to. Because it's not only just a play or something, but it's something historical, biblical, and so they're getting. So the need to, the, the, it needs to be enhanced. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't know, but I've been inside there for these past weeks, digging in, because I like perfection. And... When we had our thing Christmas, the last Christmas gone before, to me, they weren't fully up to scale because there were a lot of problems. But now, trust me, I am making sure I'm not making mm. any joke. You, the, the good thing about it, I must say this and I must thank the Department of Culture because people need to know what is happening. Now, all of the clothing, the drums, everything for the cultural department, comes from the cultural department. For the, the, the schools. For the schools. schools. Every single... They don't have to pay one hapney. Check me what. I am the one who goes around and pick up the clothing from Miss Salomon C. Haley, get the sticks for the Maka Jumbies, get them to the seamstress, and the seamstress get their monies. You know, there is one up by my side, Carmen, a very efficient and professional lady. There is one down in the country, and next one... The, the, you know, so... The thing is that they are benef beni beni they are benefiting heavily from these things. And it is a work of art because it gives a sort of impetus to the, to the community development and gives somebody from within to sit and produce this clothing because it's better than the, to be involved in other vulgar things and so. These are biblical and, and, con and what you call professional mm. things that are culturally oriented. And, and that's, exactly, that's, that's one of the things we believe in wholeheartedly at the Department of Culture, that culture is really the, the mechanism, the tool, yes. the vehicle. Culture is the recipe, really, to address the social ills we are having. We have a call online. Good day, caller. Welcome to Voices. Good morning to you, Biff. Good morning, yes. sir. And good morning to your very special guest, yes. Zach. Yes, sir, thank you. Zach, I am happy that you're there with Biff this morning because some time ago I called in on Biff's program yes. and my concern, still my concern, 
clowns, and we're talking about culture and carnival. Zach, I said to Biff then that I am very disappointed to see how the clowns has deteriorated so badly over the years. For example, the music is gone. The clowns are dancing to all kinds and sort of music, something you don't even understand what they're dancing to. They appears to be very much disorganized. And no you're quite, you're quite leadership. right. You're quite right with that. When you look at the clown, Zach, you can hardly hear any bells. As a boy in Irish, down West Wongot. I used to have 45 dozen bells. The Imagine bells, the bells you could play hear the, music. the clowns yes, you. coming all the way from the village grammar school. <laughs> for, bells for the you hear the bells. Rang out. Yes. Today you don't hear it. I don't even know if the clowns are registered. Because one day, you see a suit. The next day, you see a dirtier suit. <laughs> and every time they carry in Peter is in this clown suit. And this is constructive criticism. Eh? This is not targeting anyone. No, no. I am just speaking the truth. I would like to see Zach. Someone go out there. Someone set out there. Long before Carnival, establish a leader of these clowns. Get back to the original music. Doom, doom, do doop, do doom, do doop, do doop, do do doop, do doom. And you hear that kettle, you know, screaming. The kettle, the tambourine. And the tambourine. Yes, tambourine, yes. And that other thing there uh, with the iron, where you call it? The, the triangle. 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 And the shakpan. Eh? Mm. And the five. Five is important, yes. And the five. And so the clowns must get back some respect. Where is that rosette? In my small days, you couldn't get inside here. Long line there with a wash out your ass, good and plenty. Yeah. You couldn't even come in. You ever hear what pan licks from after six? From <laughs> sundown? <laughs> eh? Yes. So, Zach, please, you and before you get together, man. Let the clowns get some leadership. Let them get new suit. The one new suit, man. Every year they just come in this wash out, wash out clown suit. Let them organize yourself. Have a good day, good program. All right. Thanks a lot, that, Paula. Your input was very good. Um, very, we, very we, good. Appreciate, we appreciate that, that input. Yeah. And, uh, well, I could tell you that we actually have two clown troops registered with us at the moment at the Department of Culture. We have... Jason's Sting and Dance clown, clown Troop, and we have the Saga Waggers. I had a meeting with the Saga Wagga leader, and we had to have a follow-up, and the concern was they would have registered as part of their troop, whether it's 20 whatever monies they charge to register, they had, would have had, I think it was 30 persons that they, the leader would have mentioned. But then on Carnival Day, you're seeing something like 75, 80, 100, 100 plus troop. Because what happens, I have a clown troop from 19 long time, like the caller was saying, and I just put it on and I come. And Zach has a clown suit and he puts it on and come. And Mary has a clown suit and she puts it on and come. And everybody just bringing out their clown suits. That is something we want to address because we have also had the complaint from one of the registered troops that persons, they get in trouble and they clown because they would have had on a clown suit obviously the clowns would hey it's the clowns the clowns did this the clowns did that and it, it brings that negativity to them which is not necessarily correct because the person who committed whatever me, wh though they were wearing a clown suit they're not a registered clown per se so that is something that we are looking at and in terms of the music caller the department of culture would have started addressing that because in January, bright and early January, the music specialist, Mr. Nigel Williams, he would have had a five workshop. That would have been one for about three, four days. And the intention was to do that and then allow persons to go out and walk out with the various string bands, masquerades, etc., etc. However, the, the persons were so enthused and impressed with it, they asked for a continuation to happen. So technically, we've been running that workshop every morning, every Saturday morning at 10 o'clock at the Department of Culture. 
So if you are interested in five music, you can contact Mr. Nigel Williams, the music specialist at the Department of Culture, 664-2023. You can contact me, Troy Biff Mills, 668-2025. Um, and uh, you'll be able to express your interests and things like that. And we, we can look at that. The thing about it as well, we would have had a drum workshop a few weeks ago with Mr. White Phipps, the drumming specialist. That was more skinning the drums, putting on the skins, the making of the drums. And we are to be having a string band music workshop because exactly as you're saying, Carla, we realize it and we realize that it's something we have to fix. The string band music, listening to the string band music, hey, that's, that's sweet, man. That's a different type of music, Zach. And that we are, we are going to be having the music, the banjos, the quattros, the ukuleles, etc., etc. So we could have string bands, not only at the community levels, not only at the high school levels, the primary school levels as well. Because as Zach would have mentioned, we would have started programs, the folklore programs. And we are into about six or seven primary schools over the last two years. And we are going to be looking at another two, three, four for this year carnival coming, Zach. I think you wanted to make a... Some uh, a point that uh? yes, I wanted to say that the, the I'm very impressed with the nigger business out of Tyrrell Williams. It's a girl like in the role of the head teacher, and she's in grade three, very grade, intelligent. Grade three. grade three, wow, yeah, because you use the younger ones mm. because grade six and five, yeah, they're soon gone. You want that continuity, continuity, yes. And then we have the guy who was like in the, the bad cook, I wasn't satisfied with his performance in the Christmas, so his brother took up that role now. But they are very good. We gave them the things, sat with them, and they are ready. The kettle drum player, everything is ready like Freddy. Then we have the Maple. They performed at the Sunny Point Primary School meet, and they were superb the other day. That's just the other day there. We are trying to get the thing on the wheels so that you could move it around when you have function. I'm going to follow up on that this week. The mock jumbies, at one stage we had the head teacher, Miss Mason, Ask those who want to go into the Makajumbi. And we had 38 names, both male and female, from grade 3, 4, 5. Registered and serious. So I told Troy that something going to have to be done. I have to get in touch with Peter, sit down with him. And the discipline is important because you find the fellow will just take up the stick and go. Not discipline. And the, the good thing about it is that for the first time for the past two years, these children get a stipend. It's like a payment. What do we call it payment? A stipend. And that money got through the school. I know it for a fact because I have to sit down there with them to see all those who play, perform, and make sure that it goes through the school and then the parents have to come and collect the monies. And those monies were used for graduations and all sorts of things. So they, they, they are reaping benefits and they don't have to pay one happy. So that's the good part about it. We had the, the, the David and Goliath as well. Inside. Uh, Zach, can I ask you to hold a sec as we go to the line? Say good morning to this yeah. caller. Welcome to Voices. <laughs> good day, caller. Welcome to Voices. Hello, caller. You're live. We, can I ask you to call back, caller? We, seems to be ha we seem to be having a challenge. And uh, the, let, let, let us go to a break, Zach, and say, tell TDC Rams and Flo thank you following us to have voices. You need new tires, but don't know what to get. TDC can help. Hi, I'm Goodyear. I ensure great handling and great braking in wet and dry conditions. My name is Sunfall. My continuous block patterns enhance stability at high speed cornering. Did someone say speed? Hi, I'm Torque. Pick me for great performance and stability. Boys, 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 I know exactly what they want. I'm Presta. I'm the perfect fit for your SUV. Pick me and get the ultra-high performance with outstanding grip and traction, regardless of the road conditions. So, so which, which one of us are you going to choose? For the most reliable, durable, high-performance tires, come to TDC Automotive Divisions. We'll help you choose from the best brands at the best prices. I'll take a small... Double XL! That's the size for me! Lowe's new prepaid combo plans have the most choice and value for everyone. Save up to 90% by combining your talk, text, and data into one simple plan. And with options starting at just $19.99, it's easy to say it, type it, or share it. A whole lot more for a whole lot less. Dial star 129 pound now to activate. The bigger you go, the bigger you save with Flow's new prepaid combo plans. This is how we flow. Quick, quick, quick. 
quicks, 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 please, many, 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 many dishes and many, 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 many more. Quicks, please, many, 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 many dishes and many, 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 many more. Yes, quicks, please, many, 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 many dishes and many, 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 many more. Just one spoonful of concentrated quicks cleans your whole sink full of dishes. Quicks, 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 clean. Quicks means many, 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 many dishes and many, 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 many more. Quicks, we wash more dishes. Like us on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash Ram Supermarket. Follow us on Twitter, www.twitter.com slash Ram Supermarket. And subscribe to us on YouTube, www.youtube.com slash Ram Supermarket. Thank you, thank you very much, Kimiko, admonishing us to put some culture back in culture rama. Well, the subliminal message really is for us to continue to recognize our culture, respect our culture, live our culture. We would have established sometime that the we have bad cultures, we have good cultures. Cultures change, cultures evolve. And I like the way it was defined. Changing culture means actually changing to anything. Changing from good to bad to indifferent. However, evolving means changing to a good. Changing to make better. And of course, with all b- us being multicultural right now, so many persons coming into the Federation and living, we have to be mindful and we have to respect that they're going to bring their cultures and they're going to be practicing their cultures Well. It's good for us to know about this, but we cannot put down our culture and just gravitate towards this. We cannot allow our culture to be diluted, so to speak. I am Troy Biff Mills from the Department of Culture. Thank you, TDC. Thank you, Rams. Thank you, Flo, for allowing us to have voices with you today. We call Cultural Tuesday. We have with us in the studio Mr. Winston Zach Nisbet, MH, the Medal of Honor, referred to as the Doctor of Culture, being in and around culture for his entire time. You were briefing us about the, the schools. program yes. in school, Zach. Very important, very significant. And those are phases. The, um, I want to speak about the, the bull from Keon. Now, we had these big fellas, and I decided very early, because the big guys were given trouble. Sometimes when you look, they come late, come as they like without, without um, s- the socks down, the captain, different... And we ins- decided to 
go to the youths. And we get a whole string of them from grade three. We have girls in there now, too, you know. Girls playing ball? Girls what in the ball. What else are we going to hear? So, <laughs> so, two girls inside there. And one parent say, yes, she tell me she want to be in there. I want to in there. So, the, the thing is that grade three. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you, one little boy in particular, two of them. One was acting the police and the other was acting the dog. And I saw the potential in them. Very intelligent. I said, no. You come up. You act sifto. And the other one, you act sweetie. And they were perfect. One night, there was a competition in the circus with all the bulls. And these little boys, you know, when we reached out, no Arthur Davis, no, um, and all kinds of things. The bull, we had to make the bull perform. But we had to turn the same little boys that were acting sifter and sweetie. One to act Arthur Davis is a good thing they do bring back in the clothes. And let me tell you something, they turned up the whole circus. They came second. Second and in the bull competition. Second in the bull competition with big, with big people. And, and, the, and the, the, the one that came to first. Sorry, Zach, to put this in a better perspective, you're saying the Kieran Primary School comes second in the bull. In the bull. That's the bull competition that the Sandy Point Bull won. The Sandy Point Bull, I'm it, the one who trained it. He had more, the, more for yes, the people listening. He had, other, balls, he had other bulls in the competition as well. Balls, you had um, Mansion Bull had his group there as well. Wow, too. so these youngsters were second out of four. Was second so out. people could understand. Right. And not only that, I think is the, the creativity because he had to learn because I, I've always tell them, learn the whole skit, so if somebody's sick. Yeah, and they were it. ready. And let me tell you something. The first, the bull from Sandy Point, they're going to be getting 5000 And these little boys are going to be getting 3000 They come second. $3,000 for the primary dollars school bull. From, from the cultural department. Oh, boy, that's good so, stuff. So I, I should have been playing bull. Plus, <laughs> that? plus, when they go to Children Carnival for the past two years, they get paid for that. When they go out for the, the, the Folklore Avenue, they get paid for that. And when they go to the, um, what you call it, for the big parade, they get paid for that as well. So, I mean, you understand the COT. So, that is why we have to ensure that the quality of performance it stops. Because if you're getting a little stipend, it, they got government house, they perform at heads of government meeting, you know, up Brimstone Hill and so. So, there are opportunities for them. They just have to adjust themselves to the, the what you call the disciplinary traits and, and study what they have to do. We have the David and Goliath in Saddlers. I'm going to spend a lot of time with them this week and next week to make sure the lessons cut properly, have them done cut. And David and the Jesse and that sort of thing. We want to make sure the parents to help them and so. But that is a big thing as well. Uh, all right, Zach, um, hey. I, I'm really getting excited and goosebumps with this. I, I should have been about 70, 80, 90 years younger <laughs> to be with these children with folklore in the schools. Act. Yes. But we have to break for the media news. And I invite you to stick and stay. D- don't go away. And we'll come back at uh, the bottom of the hour. Thank you, TDC. Thank you, Rams. Thank you, Flo, for sponsoring the first half of the program. You're listening to Voices, Cultural Tuesday. Let's go to the news and we'll be back in about half an hour. We're different. We're 98.9. 98.9. Win FM. We now bring you the headline news. The headline news is brought to you by Caribbean Alliance, The Grange, KDP Enterprises, Famcare, Subway, Carib Brewery, and CNC Trading. Shipping your cargo shouldn't be a hassle. It can be as easy as a single call to Amerijet International, your worldwide cargo transportation solution. We provide all the services you need to ship your goods anywhere in the world. Whether your shipment is fresh, frozen, large or small, alive or hazardous, you can count on Amerijet to deliver it safe and sound. Amerijet International, by land, sea or air. We get it there. For more information, visit us online at www.amerijet.com or call us at KDP Enterprises, telephone number 466-9595. Did you know that the Grange Healthcare Facility is the first purpose-built non-governmental healthcare organization on St. Kitts offering 24-hour nursing, therapeutic, and residential care for older adults. It's situated at Otley, seven miles east of Vastair, in beautifully landscaped surroundings. 
The Grange has a team of highly trained professionals and provides care that's rated as being comparable with UK and North American standards. The Grange offers varied accommodation to suit your individual needs, and our all-inclusive packages make the cost of care per hour the most competitive on the island. Services include convalescent care for all ages, daycare facilities for older adults, rehabilitation services, and training and continuing education for healthcare providers. For more information, call 466 5525 or 465 8020, fax 466 8221, or email thegrangehelp at gmail.com, or visit our website at www.grangehealthcarefacility.com. Come to Subway and eat fresh. Try our daily specials. That's right. We have a special every day at Subway. Come in today and eat fresh. Stay healthy. BioCare Lab says it's your hair, so wear it your way with Curls and Naturals Hair Care Solutions. Start it right with Curls and Naturals Texturizer Hair Softener. Infuse with Moroccan Argan Oil and maintain it with a Dream Curl Cream with honey and shea butter, all with daily moisturizing anti-fizz and shine serum. For locks and twists, nourish them with a curl defining custard and see them grow. It's your hair. Wear it your way with Curls and Naturals. A brand new you every day. Carl's and the Natural, sold locally by CNC Trading on the CAP Southwell Industrial Site. Telephone 465-4081. Every country has a story of its own, and the people who live there are the ones that tell it best. This is Carpenter! Takes your life Or 469-5303. Delia Walwyn. People you can trust. BioCare Lab says it's your hair, so wear it your way with Curls and Naturals Hair Care Solutions. Start it right with Curls and Naturals Texturizer Hair Softener. Infuse with Moroccan Argan Oil and maintain it with a Dream Curl Cream with honey and shea butter, all with daily moisturizing anti-fizz and shine serum. For locks and twists, nourish them with a curl defining custard and see them grow. It's your hair. Wear it your way with Curls and Naturals. A brand new you every day. Carl's and the Natural, sold locally by CNC Trading on the CAP Southwell Industrial Site. Telephone 465-4081. Every country has a story of its own, and the people who live there are the ones that tell it best. This is Carl's Takes your life
one or four six nine five three zero three. Dili Walwin, people you can trust. <laughs> March 20th is a key day in the year that social workers worldwide stand together to celebrate the achievements of the profession and to take the theme message into their communities, workplaces, and to their governments to raise awareness of the social work contributions and the need for further action. The 2018 World Social Work Day highlights promoting community and environmental sustainability. This is the second and final year of this theme of the Global Agenda for Social Work and Social Development. Eric Evelyn, Minister of Community Development in the Nevis Island Administration, talks about the realities of the social work profession on the islands. In considering our own local realities, the Nevis Social Services Department has decided to focus on the sub-theme promoting social work, another noble profession. The need to champion the profession and attract workers is a growing and urgent need here on Nevis. There are many pressing issues surrounding social work that can and should be highlighted on a day like this. Among these are oppression and social justice, and the need to celebrate and protect human diversity. Focusing on one of the major aspects of social work, child welfare, the minister said the existing child protection system must be intensified. Child welfare and child justice is a major component of social work. Our children are entitled to the same rights and services as the adult caretakers. Hence the need to promote an intensified child protection system to safeguard one of our most precious human resource, our children. Speaking of how poverty affects the integrity of the social fabric, the minister outlined some of the social ills that are brought on as a result of inadequate social welfare. Social problems seem to be perpetually on the rise around the world and our beautiful small island federation is no exception. Poverty will always be high on the social work agenda. It can wreak havoc on the less fortunate, who in their daily lives are faced with difficulties pertaining to food, health, and housing security. The creation of programs and services to combat hardships and effective channeling of government resources to our poorest and most vulnerable families in a manner that promotes empowerment and dignity is crucial. We are blessed in St. Kitts and Nevis to live in a relatively stable economy. However, for some unstable living conditions, unemployment and underemployment and family instability can cause insecurity and a sense of powerlessness to make appreciable changes in their lives. They turn to unacceptable and more harmful measures to cope with their unstable living drugs, gangs, domestic violence, crime to name a few. It is especially against this backdrop that the critical role of social workers is highlighted. Minister Evelyn called for a campaign to raise awareness of the social work profession, starting with the student population in the Federation. It is partly the role of social workers to provide professional help to combat these negative coping strategies, which can lead to the down spiral of our people and communities. Social workers have a fundamental role in the workforce, if we are to achieve sustainable development goals. None of the previously mentioned issues can be effectively addressed without an adequately trained and sustained social workforce. It is with this knowledge, therefore, that we seek to highlight the contributions of our past and present social work staff who have worked tirelessly to advance the well-being of our people and begin a campaign to raise awareness of the social work profession to our students, young adults, and older individuals who may be considering one of the work areas of social work needed in our country. Building an adequately trained staff resource, achieving a better balance in the gender of our workers, making the profession attractive to our young persons on the verge of entering the world of work is our chosen issue of focus for World Social Day 2018. Let me take this opportunity to wish the entire staff at the Social Services Department happy World Social Work Day. Mr. Evelyn also acknowledged the contributions of past and present social workers to the development of the Social Services Department on Nevis. 
He said they have been pivotal to the department fulfilling its role in implementing the St. Kitts and Nevis National Social Protection Strategy 2012, which is intended to set the framework for sustainable and comprehensive social protection for all citizens. More money needs to be allocated to the health sector by government, so says the former chief medical officer, Dr. Patrick Martin. Quote, the fact that the Federal Ministry of Health's budget is underfunded and overstressed is irrefutable. Of the $50 million currently allocated to it, approximately $15 million cover non-personal emoluments. This spending category includes food and beverage, physical plant maintenance, vehicles, medications, vaccines, equipment, supplies and utilities for 11 health centers, the Cardin Home, the Mary Charles Hospital, the Poxon Hospital and the JNF Hospital, Dr. Martin offered. He further indicated that the ramifications of the inadequate amount of money allocated to the health budget are significant. Quote, the imbalance is aggravated by the high and ever-increasing cost of treating lifestyle-related disorders such as cancer, diabetes, kidney failure, and injuries caused by speeding and interpersonal violence. In the circumstances, maintenance and the purchase of vehicles and certain equipment and supplies are either delayed or sacrificed, end of quote, he noted. In addition to highlighting the need for more cash injection into the health sector, the former CMO pointed to the need for a permanent secretary in the Ministry of Health. Quote, Planning and budgeting for the regular procurement and maintenance of ambulances are led by the Permanent Secretary. There is none in the Health Ministry on St. Kitts, which largely explains the inventory breakdowns and other administrative deficiencies. End of quote. Dr. Martin also advocated for unquestionable accountability within the sector to ensure that there is quality service and optimum output. Quote, My fellow citizen and taxpayer, remain resolute and keep pressing for comprehensive accounting of public monies and high performance in government. End of quote. His assessment of the health sector comes as inquiries about the lack of ambulances in public forum increase. Bastia and its environs, as well as the St. Peter's area, are on a water rationing plan. This was confirmed by the manager and engineer at the water department, Denison Paul. He provided the operational schedule for the rationing system and implored residents to be very resourceful. Paul also revealed that the water shortage at St. Peter's was exacerbated as a result of a faulty pump. We have instituted rationing in the St. Peter's area, effectively Sunday morning at 4 o'clock, 4.30, the water was turned on because of the night before. So we'll be rationing from turn the water on at 4 in the morning until 10 a.m. We turn it off between 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. It comes down at 4 p.m. It goes off again at 8 p.m. And then it's back on at 4 o'clock in the morning. This is because the levels at St. Peter's are low because of shortage of wind. But we also have an issue with the pump that supplies the area. So that area is only getting about half the water it usually gets. Bastia, there's also a drop off in Bastia for the in. But that problem is not as critical. So we are rationing between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. daily. So every day between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m., water would be off in Bastia. As I said, that includes near town, the village, Irish town. It includes Bird Rock, Forget the Southeast Peninsula, Half Moon, Bastion's environs. The water department manager noted that the reasoning for the water rationing was because of very little rainfall during this dry season. Rainfall amounts have dropped significantly over what we would have had last year. We're into the dry season, but it's a very, very dry season. It is drier than the two previous years. And so all water levels have dropped, or inflows from the surface intakes have, have also dropped critically. Paul took the opportunity to encourage the general public to adapt water conservation strategies and offered several tips. While we're at it, we're encouraging the general public to conserve water, use water wisely. I would provide a couple of tips. In terms of showering, don't be wasting the water. You don't have to shower for 10, 15 minutes, a five minute shower would do. When you're brushing your teeth, do not have the water running. You run the water only to rinse your mouth. 
encouraging you to wash when you're washing. Use large loads. Pull the wash machine. Save water and you save electricity in that way. The Water Department has also suspended irrigation of grass as a means to conserve water, Paul revealed. He implored government departments and business offices to utilize on-site water storage systems to reduce water use so that the impact of the present dry season would not be too prolonged. Paul disclosed that the current forecast suggests that the rains would begin to fall in May. The St. Peter's area water rationing schedule may be revised once the pump has been replaced, and as it stands, the manager has indicated that his department is hoping to get it fixed by Wednesday, March 21st. Geotherm X, a U.S.-based company who was contracted by Nevis Renewable Energy International, sent a team to Nevis to determine the status of the geothermal test well at Hamilton. Their findings have confirmed the requisite temperature and flow necessary for a sustainable supply of geothermal energy on Nevis. As of Monday, March 19th, the test results at Hamilton continue to hold steady with surface reading temperatures of 255 degrees Fahrenheit, steam temperatures of 411 degrees, and well temperature readings of over 400 degrees. Mr. Bruce Cutright, CEO of NREI, described the project as difficult but rewarding. Quote, it has been a tough project to work on. We know that the people of Nevis have been waiting 10 years to see this flow rate and this will transform the island. End quote. Drilling for the production wells on the site is expected to begin late summer. Mr. Mackie Tross, NREI's local representative, said he was excited that they had arrived at a two-phase system producing both water and steam and is looking forward to the geothermal project becoming a reality. The NREI was contracted by the Nevis Island Administration some time ago to harness the island's geothermal energy. An appeal is being made by the Royal St. Christopher Nevis Police Force for anyone who has any information with regards to any of the shooting incidents that happened over the last weekend, March 15th to 18th, to contact the nearest police station. The appeal comes after a particularly violent weekend which included two murders in the Twin Island State. The most recent murder was that of 30-year-old Calvin Archibald, formerly of Kayon but who resided in Sandy Point, who was gunned down in Crab Hill on March 17th. Police reports indicate that the deceased was sitting in a shop just after 9 p.m. when he was fired upon. That same Saturday, March 17th, 24-year-old Ricardo Jeffers sustained a gunshot wound in a confrontation with one or more assailants in the morning around 9 a.m. He is listed as being in stable condition following treatment at the JNF General Hospital. One suspect is in custody assisting the police with their investigations, according to reports. A day before March 16th, the lifeless body of 41-year-old Glenville Francis was found near the railway line in Newton Ground. His body was riddled with several bullets. On the night of March 16th, police also responded to a shooting incident in the Taylor's area. A young man in his mid-30s, Hannibal Basu, sustained gunshot injuries. The extent of his injuries is still not confirmed. WinFM made several attempts to reach the police high command to get a direct response to the past weekend's violent activities but all attempts were unsuccessful. Strategic Communications Laboratories, SCL's website, no longer features earlier posts of its successful operations in elections in the Caribbean, including in St. Kitts and Nevis in 2010, and other Caribbean countries over the years, including the Commonwealth of Dominica, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and Trinidad and Tobago. Friday, Facebook suspended the SCL Group and its subsidiary, Cambridge Analytica, from using its platform. Investigative reporting by the UK's Guardian newspaper reveals the inner workings of SCL, whose subsidiary, SCL Elections, partners with US billionaire Robert Mercer and Breitbart's editor Steve Bannon to create Cambridge Analytica. Cambridge Analytica, according to The Guardian, also has links to the Brexit Leave campaign. My name is Christopher Wiley. I'm a data scientist and I helped set up Cambridge Analytica. It's incorrect to call Cambridge Analytica a, a purely sort of data science company or an algorithm you know, company. You know, it is a full service propaganda machine. If you can control all of the streams of information around your opponent, you can influence how they perceive that battle space and you can then influence how they're going to behave and react. 
whistleblower and former Cambridge Analytica employee Christopher Wiley has provided documents and receipts to officials to back up his claims about the activities of the organization. In this interview with The Guardian, Wiley explained how after Mercer pumped 15 million US dollars into Cambridge Analytica, the company sought to deliver the psychological tools in demand, and in 2014, met with Cambridge professor Alexander Kogan. What Kogan offered us was something that was way cheaper, way faster, and of a quality that nothing matched. They had uh, apps on Facebook that were given special permission to harvest data, not from just the person who used the app or joined the app, but also it would then go into their entire friend network and pull out all of the friend's data as well. So if, if one person, if you joined the app, I would not just see your Facebook profile, I would see all of the Facebook profiles of everybody that you're friends with. We would only need to, to, to you know, touch a couple hundred thousand people to expand into their entire social network, which would then scale us to, you know, most people, of America. And people had no idea that the data was being taken in this way? No. No. If you were a friend of somebody who used the app, you would have no idea that I've just pulled all of your data. It was almost everything that would be on a, on a Facebook profile. So that was things like status updates, likes, in some cases, private messages. Um, so Cambridge Analytica has people's private messages they sent on Facebook? I can't say whether they did or not. What I'm, saying, what I'm saying is what the app could do. So you didn't ever stop and think, actually, this is people's personal information and we're taking it and we're using it in ways that they don't understand. You didn't think, actually, I'm, just, I'm not sure about this. Um, you know... The, the, the company, we didn't, we didn't do a good job at due diligence, so no, we didn't, um, you know. But what about you, not just the company, your involvement in that? Um, no, I mean, I, we, we were solely focused on getting this data and doing this experiment. How many profiles were you, were you pulling? Um, tens of millions, upwards of 50, 60 million profiles were collected in a two or three month period. When Alexander Nix told the parliamentary inquiry on fake news that Cambridge Analytica has never used Facebook data, at least from when I was there, that's just fundamentally not true because we spent a million dollars harvesting tens of millions of Facebook profiles and those profiles were used as the basis of the algorithms that became the foundation of Cambridge Analytica itself. The company itself was founded on using Facebook data. So you've harvested my data and then you've used that to target me in ways that I can't see and that I don't understand. Yeah, so we would know, we would know what kinds of messaging you would be susceptible to, including the framing of it, the topics, the contents, the tone, whether it's scary or not, that kind of thing. So what you would be susceptible to and, and where you're going to consume that. And then how many times do we need to touch you with that in order to change how you, how you think about something? In addition to having you know, data scientists and psychologists and strategists, they also have an entire team of you know, creatives, designers, videographers, photographers. They then create that content. That gets then sent to a targeting team which then, you know, injects it into the internet. Websites will be created, blogs will be created, whatever it is that we think this target profile will be receptive to, we will create content on the internet for them to find. And then they see that and they click it and they go down the rabbit hole um, until they start to think that, you know, something, until they start to think something differently. Instead of standing in the public square and saying what you think and then letting people come and listen to you and have that shared experience as to what your, what your narrative is, you are whispering into the ear of each and every voter and you may be whispering one thing to this voter and another thing to another voter. We risk fragmenting society um, in a way where we don't have any more shared experiences and we don't have any more shared understanding. 
If we don't have any more shared understanding, how can we be a functioning society? Thinking about that now, do you think that did change America or played a part in it? Um, I think it probably played a part. I can't, I can't say you know, for sure whether you know, what, what, was the defining, what was the defining factor in, in you know, getting Trump elected or growing the alt-right. If you want to fundamentally change society, you first have to break it. And it's only when you break it is when you can remold the pieces into your vision of a new, of a new society. This was the weapon that Steve Bannon wanted to build to fight his culture war. So who do you trust? I, 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 oh, this is such a hard question to answer. Who do I trust? Um, I don't want to say I don't trust anyone, but I, do you know what I would say? I would say I, 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 I go through life with a healthy dose of skepticism. And I think that, that healthy dose of skepticism as to what you're seeing and what you're hearing and who you're talking to is, is, is the, the best way to go through life. That excerpt from The Guardian's interview with Christopher Wiley, former employee of Cambridge Analytica. Professor Kogan, for his part, said everything he did was legal, and he had a close working relationship with Facebook, which gave him permission to use his apps. Facebook has denied that the data transfer was a breach and stated that if the reports are true, it's a serious breach of the company's rules. Facebook added that Professor Kogan, Cambridge Analytica, and the SCL Group certified that it destroyed the data in question. According to its website, the SCL Group provides data, analytics, and strategy to governments and military organizations worldwide. It states... For over 25 years, quote, we have conducted behavioral change programs in over 60 countries and have been formally recognized for our work in defense and social change, end of quote. This is the Carib Update News Service and reporting, I am Oslin Crosby. New president sworn in in Trinidad. This is the big story we are tracking this hour on the edition of Newsbreak for Tuesday, 20th March, 2018. Follow your heart to the 22nd Annual St. Kitts Music Festival from June 27th to July 1st, 2018. Featuring Cast Band, Simba Melody, Small Act Band, Patti LaBelle, Nyla Blackman, New Vibes International, and Betty Wax. Also, Dijon, Rhythm of the Beat, and Wanda, Byron Messiah, Spice, August Alcina, Shaka Dimas, and Matthias, Aishona, Dashra, and Ms. Lauren Hill. Save the date and book now for the 22nd Animals and Kids Music Festival and experience now for the details. Paula May Weeks has been sworn in as president of Trinidad and Tobago. Weeks, now the country's sixth president and the first woman to hold that position, took the oath of office on Monday. I, Paula May Weeks, do swear by Almighty God that I will bear true faith and allegiance to Trinidad and Tobago and to the best of my ability, preserve and defend the Constitution and the law, that I will conscientiously and impartially discharge the functions of President, and will devote myself to the service and well-being of the people of Trinidad and Tobago. In her first address to the nation, President Weeks highlighted the many social ills facing the country. I have endured the maddening inefficiencies of the public sector. I too drive with my windows up or doors locked even in broad daylight, or at least I used to. I have lost two cars to thieves and have waited hours for medical attention for a relative at our hospital. I am painfully aware of what the murder count is and how many victims have been women and children slaughtered in acts of domestic violence. The president noted what she called the state of the state when she said she too has been affected by those problems. 
President Weeks also wants a change of the discourse on all media platforms. She said citizens must demonstrate goodwill in talk and in deed. As Antiguans and Barbudans prepare to go to the polls on Wednesday, that country's Prime Minister Gaston Brown has questioned the citizenship of candidate for the main opposition United Progressive Party, Machesny Emmanuel. Brown has challenged Emmanuel to provide irrefutable evidence that he has revoked his U.S. citizenship. Speaking at a political rally on the weekend, Brown suggests that Emmanuel has not revoked his U.S. citizenship because he knows he's going to lose, and immediately after the elections, he's going back to the United States. According to Brown, the Constitution precludes him from being a candidate or at least becoming an elected official. Brown said Emmanuel owes an explanation to the people of Antigua and Barbuda. Meanwhile, leader of the minority opposition Democratic National Alliance, Joanne Messiah, has called for a fixed date for general elections as voters prepare to cast ballots on Wednesday for a new government in Antigua and Barbuda. Speaking on a local radio program, Messiah said that her party, if elected to office, would move to introduce legislation that would curb the powers of the Prime Minister to call snap elections. The DNA, which is fielding candidates in 13 out of the 17 seats at stake in the Parliament, said her party was still confident that it could win the election. This is Newsbreak from the Carib Update News Service. In more news, Barbados's Prime Minister Frondel Stewart has said that his ruling Democratic Labour Party intends to change the country's political map in the upcoming general election. Speaking at a DLP meeting on Sunday, Stewart said that he will announce the date in the near future. Stewart also warned those eager for an election date to be careful what they wished for. Parliament still dissolved early, from earlier this month, the month of March, and there has been a lot of chatter coming out of the Barbados Labour Party over the fact that no election date has as yet been announced. As I said last Sunday night at Lester Vaughan, an election date is going to be announced. I said it in 2013. I said I didn't know what all the hurry was about. An election day was going to come. That election was going to be fought. And it was going to be won. Barbados's Prime Minister, Frondel Stewart. This has been another edition of Newsbreak from the Carib Update News Service. The Caribbean's Newsroom. Reporting, I am Oslin Crosby. We now bring you this international report. We got a lot to cover this morning, but we've got to start with more breaking news, this time out of southern rural Maryland. We're getting word out of a town of Great Mills that a high school there is now on lockdown after reports of a shooting with multiple injuries. The sheriff's office tells us, our affiliate, excuse me, in Washington, that an investigation is underway and the ATF says agents are headed to the school. NBC's Hallie Jackson is following this. Hallie, what do you know? This is not an urban setting. This is a very rural no. part of Maryland. Yeah, exactly. Uh, about an hour outside of Washington, D.C., where we are right now, Stephanie, and the information is still pretty spotty coming in. But let me share with you what little we know about all of this. I want to read for you a statement now from the school district that there has been a shooting here, obviously, that the school is on lockdown. They say that the event is, quote, contained, that the sheriff's office is on the scene and they're promising additional information to follow. I will tell you that our local affiliate, our NBC News affiliate, WRC, is reporting multiple injuries here. And a reminder that this is all happening, Stephanie, just a few days before that national march for our lives right here in Washington. Apparently, according to some local news reporting, that school walkout, that student walkout last week, Great Mills students, kids actually participated in that. So we are watching to see what other information we can get. We have crews on the way to that scene uh, and we'll bring you the latest as we know it. But obviously this is something that uh, everybody here in Washington is keeping an eye on, is watching very closely. We're waiting to see
see the extent of those injuries as police are trying to figure out what exactly happened here, who was involved. Again, the event contained is what we're told, uh, but, but it is not clear what that means, if that means that the suspected shooter has been captured, is now in custody. Uh, so we are continuing to follow some of that information for you, Steph. Yeah, I mean, we've got to get more details. So this had it's to have early, happened yeah. as kids were making their way into school as the day was getting started. And at a time like that, it's pretty chaotic in the hallways. Not everybody is uh, settled in their classroom. These are still pictures right now. Uh, as we said, a Maryland high school is now on lockdown after a shooting. And to Hallie's point, think about this. March for Our Lives is taking place yeah. this Saturday, and it's not just going to be in Washington. We're going to see these marches around the country. I mean, it's stunning. On the phone with me now is one of the students who was in the building, Terrence Rames. Uh, Terrence, thank you for being with us on what I know has been a very scary morning for you. Can you tell me a little bit about what happened? I understand you were in the hallway outside class when this went down. So walk me through what you saw, Terrence, and, and what occurred. Me and um, a few of my friends, we meet up in the same area in the morning. We were just standing there talking, and we, we heard, like, a, a loud shot. And it, it was probably, like, a, a few yardsticks, like, away from us to my left-hand side. When I heard that, we heard it, and we in instantly start running the opposite way. Hmm. And, like, I glanced back, and um, I seen a girl, like, I didn't know who the girl was, but I seen a blonde ponytail, like, fall forward. And... And so we just kept running towards uh, the closest exit we saw. Did you and leave we, the building? Um, yes. And where did you go? Where did the other students go? I understand the school was put on lockdown, right? Yes, we, but as, as soon as we heard it, we, we started running. And we had see, saw a teacher um, across from us, like, as we, were going, as we were going down to the hallway to make a, um, a left turn to get out, um, a set of doors and we saw the teacher looking at us like with a confused look and um i guess another shot went off and he tried to he he was hurrying to get uh, other students in his class yeah. and we just took off out the door and we we ran to like the main road turning into the school and as we looked back at the school it was uh students flooding out the main entrance so we knew like uh something yeah. was serious and and like everything is adding up now, so I I don't know if it was two shooters or or just one, but I just know I heard um, one shot to the left uh, hand side of me before we ran out the building. And where are you now? What have you heard from the school? I'm home now, and I, I'm watching okay. the news, and um, I'm hearing like about three students or something are are getting like checked out. Um, I guess they're in critical condition. I don't know who yet. But I just know um, they said the shooter is in critical condition too. I think he, I think he shot himself. My, my friend that was with me, um, he told me he saw the kid actually shoot himself. Mm. Uh, Terrence, I can't imagine what a scary morning that has been for you. Our thoughts are with you and your classmates. I'm glad you're home safe. Thanks for joining us on the phone, Terrence. I appreciate it. The headline news was brought to you by Caribbean Alliance, The Grange, KDP Enterprises, Fancare, Subway, Carib Brewery, and CNC Trading. Protect your life. Or 469-5303. Delia Walwyn. People you can trust. Every country has a story of its own. And the people who live there are the ones that tell it best. This is Gary Country!
your hair thinning, shedding, or breaking? BioCare Labs has researched the causes of split ends, thinning, dry, and brittle hair and has developed a product to solve these weak hair problems. We call it Strong Ends Products. If you desire to grow strong, healthy hair, Strong Ends Products is your solution. Formulated with potent natural ingredients like honey and shea butter to deposit and retain moisture. Castor and almond oil for scalp and roots. And aloe vera and coconut milk for strength. Try the full line of Strong Ends hair products and grow healthy, beautiful hair. Strong Ends, sold locally by CNC Trading on the CAP Southwell Industrial Site. Telephone 465-4081. Come to Subway and eat fresh. Try our daily specials. That's right. We have a special every day at Subway. Come in today and eat fresh. Stay healthy. Did you know that the Grange Healthcare Facility is the first purpose-built non-governmental healthcare organization on St. Kitts offering 24-hour nursing, therapeutic, and residential care for older adults. It's situated at Otley, seven miles east of Vastair, in beautifully landscaped surroundings. The Grange has a team of highly trained professionals and provides care that's rated as being comparable with UK and North American standards. The Grange offers varied accommodation to suit your individual needs, and our all-inclusive packages make the cost of care per hour the most competitive on the island. Services include convalescent care for all ages, daycare facilities for older adults, rehabilitation services, and training and continuing education for healthcare providers. For more information, call 466-5525 or 465-8020, fax 466-8221, or email thegrangehelp at gmail.com, or visit our website at www.grangehealthcarefacility.com. I'll take a small. Double XL! That's the size for me! Lil's new prepaid combo plans have the most choice and value for everyone. Save up to 90% by combining your talk, text, and data into one simple plan. And with options starting at just $19.99, it's easy to say it, type it, or share it. A whole lot more for a whole lot less. Dial star 129 pound now to activate. The bigger you go, the bigger you save with Flow's new prepaid combo plans. This is how we flow. Extra, extra, wheels all about it. It's Hortsfoot's Automotive Extra Special Sale on all 2017 Nissan buses. In addition to the already low gotta go price, we will offer four free tires with every purchase. That's right. You'll get four brand new quality tires with the purchase of a Nissan High Roof Bus. $1,500 in free gas. No, you're not dreaming. It's real. With the purchase of a Nissan Eurovan 2017 model, you'll get $1,500 in free gasoline. And remember, you still get huge discounts along with 0% down payment. No payment until May 2018. $500 in free groceries. Free bill of sale. Free servicing for one year. Free registration and licensing. Free tension. It's Hortsfoot's Automotive. Extra, extra, wheels all about it. Extra special sale on Nissan buses for the month of March only. Please don't for details, terms and conditions apply. How does it feel when you got that The flavor and the feeling you get when they taste every bite March Madness continues at courts with Late Night Madness. Shop on March 23rd and 29th from 5 p.m. until 8 p.m. And get huge savings on products like the Franklin TV stand was $7.99, now $5.99. Save $200. Plus, doughbusters starting at only $5. Courts must be crazy. Courts mad again. Courts bringing value home.
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome back to Voices here on WinFM 98.9. You're listening to Cultural Tuesday. It's not the regular one of the mill Tuesday. We want to thank those of you who are rejoining us. You would have been with us this morning. And those of you who are just joining us for the first time during the day, we say thank you. We appreciate your listenership. And, of course, we have to say thank you to Flow Quotes, SL Horsfords and Company Limited, and KFC, our sponsors, for ensuring that we are able to bring voices to you here on Win FM 98.9. I'll take a small double XL. That's the size for me. Lowe's new prepaid combo plans have the most choice and value for everyone. Save up to 90% by combining your talk, text, and data into one simple plan. And with options starting at just $19.99, it's easy to say it, type it, or share it. A whole lot more for a whole lot less. Dial star 129 pound now to activate. The bigger you go, the bigger you save with Flow's new prepaid combo plans. This is how we flow. Gotta go into March. What? Horsefoot Automotive's big gotta go February only sale. Gotta go. We're marching into March with more great savings. It's, it's Horsefoot Automotive gotta go March clearance sale. All 2017 models gotta go. That's right. Come to Horsefoot Automotive and get up to fifteen thousand dollars off 2017 models. That's right. Horsefoot Automotive is making room for 2018 by offering up to fifteen thousand dollars off 2017 models. That's big. Up to fifteen thousand. Off on all 2017 vehicles. And that's not all. Are you serious? Come now and get 0% down payment. No payment until April 2018. $500 free groceries. Free servicing for one year. Free bill of sale. Free tenting. Free registration. Free accessories. Free licensing. It's Horsefoot Automotive. Gotta go clearance sale. The biggest sale of the year. All 2017 vehicles priced to clear. Every 2017 vehicle. Gotta go. Terms gotta and go. conditions apply. See store for details. How does it feel when you got that feeling? You got the flavor you love. How does it feel when you know you're not dreaming? There is nothing above. How you feel when things come together? How you feel when everything nice? How you feel when you see it for the flavor, the feeling you get when the taste of everybody? St. Kitts, the, the craziness, craziness continues, continues at courts. courts. With buy two, get one free during our midday mayhem on Wednesday, March 21st for a limited time only, 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Buy two, get, get one, one free. free. Visit a court store near you for pure madness. Look out for more cra cra crazy deals. Courts, bringing value home. Every time about, I notice things looking more strange. Like we're trying to stifle reculture, calling for a change. Year by year, we are steadily importing foreign ideas, disregarding the culture that has kept us throughout the years. I don't mind, but some of them big, big costumes look weird and out of place. Others so rude and vulgar and really important. Why can't we exercise creativity? Whilst preserving our history And let us keep our cultural identity We want that the river That is our show Cowboy and Indian Let the whole world know That's me kind of Slavery, painful privilege. Don't make that mistake to succumb to foreign faith. For heaven's sake, give the culture a break. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Killing Elimat, for reminding us, each and every one of us, that we need to give the culture a break. Culture is us, culture is what defines us, culture is what makes us, we are culture, culture is us and whether we like it or not we are an integral part of the culture and we have to keep our culture alive by 
passing on the practices and traditions to our children. If we pass on false culture to them, they will pass it on to their grandchildren, their great grand, etc., etc. And uh, that is how we have cultures becoming extinct. That is how we have cultures becoming diluted. That is how we have cultures becoming contaminated. And we have to be very, very careful of it. Because when we are gone in the next 150 years, 200, 300, 500 years, if the world is around that long, we need to ensure that we are kitchens and people understand this is what you can expect from someone from St. Kitts Nevis. I am Troy B. Mills, Director of Culture. I'm hosting Voices today. And we have in the studios with us Mr. Winston Zach Nisbet MH, affectionately called the Doctor of Culture. This morning we were talking about him on the cultural side, working in the schools, etc. The Department of Culture has been working with him to help us keep the culture alive, starting in the primary schools. And there are some seven primary schools. He didn't get to touch the Dean Glassford, the actors in the D Dean Glassford, which we are working on. And we're going to be adding a few more. And the but village school. And the, the, uh, of Con. course. And uh, we're going to deviate a little. We're going to still speak about culture and something cultural, something that perhaps we have taken for granted. We know it's there, but we, it would have become a part of an, our culture, an integral part of our culture, because it's something we look forward to, something we know will, will happen. And we are talking about, Zach, the <coughs> aquatic sports on Easter Monday down at the ferry terminal down at Bastia. When was the first time this was held, Zach? And where did the idea come from to have all of this activity at Bastia? The idea came about from um, Mr. Hancock. Mr. Hancock was, um, he attended the Moravian Church. I don't, mo most people, the older heads in particular, would have remembered Mr. Hancock going around selling ice cream. He was a boy scout. And he started this swimming and everything over the years. Just after that, Basil Henderson took it up as the 4-H um, giant of a man. I had to say giant of a man because his input into the whole socioeconomic development, the, 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 his, his and, and in co to community development and its enhancement has been have been overwhel overwhelming, overwhelming. And nobody could say that Mr. Henderson had not played a vital role in that whole upbringing. The, the, this is our 60th anniversary. 60 years of Mr. Henderson died, I think, 2005. And ever since, I have taken it up along with the help of Mr. Alclark who was involved with the 4 movement for over 50 years. So at least I have somebody on my side who is a dedicated warrior, you would call him, a stalwart, someone who created a sort of environment within him as a person who works with people. He's a sports enthusiast. Remember, he was the one for the netball team that won in Trinidad. He was the, the architect behind the training and everything. So he has been involved in many, many sporting endeavors. Football, cricket, you can call him. He was an ex-policeman and that sort of thing. And he had persons like Miss Agnes Skerritt. I'm trying to get her down there this year so people can see good old Agnes once again. She was the right hand to Mr. Henderson along with Miss Vissi Pal along with Mr. Denzel Rennick, Al Barco, and those persons were around him. So he had a good entourage of persons, Miss Walls, those persons. The, the, um, he, and he emphasized the, the community development thing. He had the Home and Gardens Festival, which was a big role in the community. Effective speaking, you had bodybuilding, you had the, 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 the animal husbandry, where they had a lot of plants and this gardening, planting garden. He, they, they, oh, they, they were involved in almost everything. And he single-handedly 
in a sense, with the help of these other persons, took it on and carried the mantle ahead. But after he left, it needed somebody with the same sort of inspiration, motivation, and creativity to carry it on. So I've gotten myself with um, Mr. Earl Clark, and I want to thank him. Last year, he was not there because he went to Cuba. But this year, he's there to start. The, and even though he, he's an amputee, you know, he is more vigorating than even before. He has the, the, the dedicatedness within him. He wants to perform. We have people like Pepe Isaac who come down there and help. Those are great people. We had Tishiro, God bless his soul. He was one of the persons around me there, Paula Street. We have, um, I want to thank, first of all, the, the port for giving us the opportunity to be back down there again. Now, let me say this while I'm here. There is an, it's a new environment now. You have a new building there, something, it's a, it's a beautiful edifice they put up there for the visitors when you're going to Nevis and other things. You're in an, uh, a total new environment. And we want to thank Mr. Leibard for that, Patches Leibard, for the foresight and everything and putting that thing there. But this year, we are going to be there again. But what I want to ask the, pop, the public and the, the general populace is that when you come down there, we don't want you to vandalize the place. We are going to have the, the, the pole, the, the electricity department, they're going to be bringing down the pole. We have tents will be put up by the breweries. The music will be there. So we don't want too many persons coming onto the pier to destroy anything there. Those persons who will be coming on the tent is persons who I really want to be under there, like certain important persons. I'll be bringing them there so that they could sit there and look at this. But we don't want this crowd there to come, and we don't want anybody throwing anything in the water damaging anything. It's not like before. So I want to make that abundantly clear. You can stand up on this side and look at what's happening. We'll be having the usual ham as usual. We, the poll will be a longer poll because I personally went to these people and I have all my sponsors already in place. Trust me, I have already, weeks now I have that in place. I had a program on WinFM with Mr. Bacchus. I had one with Juni Leibon and I'm going to do so I had an um, upfront last night on ZIZ television. So it is the newspapers, they'll be bringing it. We'll be coming stronger than ever. We'll be having the boxing ring for sure. That is one of our main features this year. And already we have a number of youths, young, young boys, who have been getting themselves in problems and so. And they want to box it out. And it's only fair because when you're going to take up a gun or a knife, and you you got a fellow who you really want to to put some licks on. You put on the gloves and you go in there and you exactly. box it out. Nothing wrong with that. When the days when you had Newtown versus Irish Town, I remember Seabron and Alice and they from the village. The crowds used to come down from the village, crowd some Newtown, and you go and it's just roughest, high fall, Jude, you know, Jude, and this kind of thing upon the pasture right there where Simaka was, and then you go up the village, the Patsy Alice Street. And these were the sort of days. So Nothing is wrong with that. You put on the gloves and then you go home with a case of drink, bottle mm -hmm. water, something, some little thing. We are going to emphasize a lot on the bun, the bun eating. We want the children to be a big part in this this year. We want as many prizes that we could give them. The, the, the eating the bun of the string, that was very successful. We got the bun some fancy love. We are going to get more again. We're going yeah, to, we're how is that done, Zach? Eating a bun off a string? Well, you have, the, you have the long string across, and you have about eight to ten buns tied, and you stand up under it. So all I got to do is just hold the bun and eat it. No, 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 you can't hold it with your hand. What do you mean I can't hold it? Your two hands behind your back. Well, how are we going to eat the bun, Zach? Well, you, have to, you have to control it because the bun moving. But that's what I mean. The bun is moving, but they get it done. Mm -hmm. There are some persons with the expertise and so it's a technical thing, but it's a lot of fun. It was plenty of fun last year, and we're bringing it back. So the winner the is the, the, for, the, post, the first person to eat off the entire to bun? Eat, to eat off the entire bun. Yeah, that is the winner. About how long that exercise takes? Man, sometimes it takes a quick time. Sometimes it takes about five minutes. Um, yeah, some, time, I mean, depends. you have to have a big mouth, Zach, or you have very small buns. It's the technique, the skill. You have to be creative in your mm -hmm. approach. Yeah, because you pluck it, you pluck it like, and then you stir with it. Because remember, it's moving That's up That's what and I down. mean, it's swinging left and right. So, and up you have and to down. just concentrate, meditate on what you're doing. And it was very interesting. So we are going to bring that in a big way. The skipping, 
you have the skipping ropes we are going to. We need the young people involved, the little ones. We want the, and then we have the, the hula hoop. We have a few hula hoops. We're going to be concerned. So most of the schools and the young people, we want them down there to do that. But the boxing ring, we'll be having that in the afternoon. And the good thing about it is the music we have there in the, in the morning, Mr. Uncle T is Terence Dolphin for the past 12 years now. He has been taking care of that aspect. He pays the guy, whoever it is, come down there. And we have this here, DJ Dice. DJ Dice. He is he's dedicated. The quality of music he played last time was very good because I'm always on the mic. The reason for that is, um, Troy, my thing is that when these people give their gifts, mm -hmm. in fact, when I go tonight on that program too, I always want to make sure I thank them because without these spo these sponsors don't only just sponsor the aquatic sports. Every minute, look at look at um, the the breweries. When I recognize, it's all the primary schools that sponsor for the the, the sports. You know, okay. the, the, the 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 running. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize all of them and give trophies and so. Look at Lime again. Lime Flo, gives phone and all kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, look TDC. TDC is the one who gave our grease. Without the grease, we can't go nowhere because we have the grease for the pole in the sand and the other one. You normally have two poles, one upright and the, one across. The upright the one, the one across, that's the one for the, for the men to, to get their testicles and so. <laughs> in trouble sometimes. <laughs> oh, hey, if you're hey, not skillful. Hey, but Zach, you got me here shimmering, if man. If testicles not, in trouble, you say that. If Zach. you are not skillful. Mm -hmm. And we want to, last year we introduced the females going for a ham. We want somebody to contribute a ham this year. Mm. And then we have hams. Rams normally give the ham and John. But this year we are specifically wanting the women. They were afraid to go last year. Mm. They say all sorts of things. Mm. They're going to pong this and pong that. <laughs> so, <laughs> they, they're going to get in trouble with yeah, the testicles. We, we, like we, the yeah, we are going to make the pot. We, we are going to make their stint on the pole a little mm. shorter. Okay. We want it to be exciting. We want more ham this mm. year. And we want, that is what people come down to see. The one in the sun, we had a problem with that last year. And I want to That's thank this guy. Another Chris, pool in yes, the sun. With the money on top. I want to thank this guy, um, Roberts. Mm -hmm. He n normally helped me grease the pool. And let me tell you, when we finish, I always look for him financially. Not only that, the boxing ring. So the monies that we make, it goes back into the whole event. Mm -hmm. Because it's $700 we have to pay for the boxing ring. Same okay. thing again this year. Mm -hmm. But the boxing ring is significant. Yeah, yeah it is. Because and I we like, want I the like little boys idea. come in. Come mm -hmm. in and throw your hand in there. Come mm -hmm. in and let go your hand. I like that. And it'll be sweet. Um, Pinocchio like that. Mm -hmm. he, he, he like to come down and get that fun. So we are encouraging that this year. We want to have other little things. Anybody have any little thing they could in include? And they want to express it. You could go on the boxing stage when we finish. Zach, um, can we hold and take a pause here? And let us go to our sponsors. Let us go to Flo Quotes, SL Horsfords and Company Limited, and KFC. And tell them thank you for bringing voices to us on WinFM 98.9. How does it feel when you got that feeling? For the flavor, the feeling you get when they taste everybody. I'll take a small. Double XL. That's the size for me. Lowe's new prepaid combo plans have the most choice and value for everyone. Save up to 90% by combining your talk, text, and data into one simple plan. And with options starting at just $19.99, it's easy to say it, type it, or share it. A whole lot more for a whole lot less. Dial star 129 pound now to activate. The bigger you go, the bigger you save with Flow's new prepaid combo plans. This is how we flow. It's Hortsfoot's Automotive Extra Special Sale on all 2017 Nissan buses. In addition to the already low gotta-go price, we will offer four free tires with every purchase. That's right. You'll get four brand new quality tires with the purchase of a Nissan High Roof Bus. $1,500 in free gas. No, you're not dreaming. It's real. With the purchase of a Nissan Eurovan 2017 model, you'll get $1,500 
$5 in free gasoline. And remember, you still get huge discounts along with 0% down payment. No payment until May. $500 in free groceries, free bill of sale, free servicing for one year, free registration and licensing, free tinting. It's Hortwoods Automotive. Extra, extra, wheels all about it. Extra special sale on Nissan buses for the month of March only. over details, terms and conditions apply. Get big rewards with Quartz. It's easy. easy. Just update your existing Quartz Ready Finance account, and you could be the winner of a 32-inch TV. You heard right. Update your current credit account for a chance to win a 32-inch TV. Other prizes to be won. Offer valid until March 31st. Terms and conditions apply. See in-store for details. Get, Get big, big rewards. rewards. Update your account for a chance to win. Only at Quartz. Quartz. Bringing, bringing value. value. Home. Home. About guidance and protection He said you children need to know what is culture To steer and secure your future He was concerned about the next generation And angry of the present situation So what is culture, he asked you, yes, me And this is what he said to me Mako jump be a string band music, that's we culture. Steel band and boat racing, that's we culture. Picking salt and jellification, that's the way we live. Limbo dancing and calypso, so a cultural heritage. Thank you, thank you, the late Lord Anything, talking about culture. And there are a few songs we can have, a thousand one people singing about culture, keeping the culture alive. But we've decided to choose persons, Calypsonians from St. Kitts Nevis, to tell us, remind us that it is our culture, it is our own. And of course, we have to thank Flo, Coates, SLU, SL Hosford and Company Limited, and uh, KFC for coming on board and ensuring that we are able to have voices. I am Troy B. Mills from the Department of Culture. My esteemed guest today is Mr. Winston Zach Nisbet, MH Medal of Honor. And we are talking, Zach, we're wrapping up basically about the aquatic sports yes. that has been going on since 1958 or there about, you said, some six yes. years. 60 years. Six years. And I, yes. while you were speaking, you, you, meant, you just mentioned the greasy pool. I actually could recall in Sandy Point yes. on Easter Monday as well. I am trying to figure out how it would have been happening because if this was going on. And there used to be a greasy pole. If you're actually at the old recreation ground in Sandy Point mm -hmm. and you look off in the water, you're going to see a rock out there. And if you, according to your angle, you're going to see a little metal, mm -hmm. metal um, contraption in it that yeah. what would have been used to hold the, the pole together and I could recall boat racing used to be happening from down Pump Bay and then these guys go all the way up to where the Hanson home is and turn around and come back down and things like that and a lot of action would have been happening at mm. the old recreation ground and I can't remember the organizers but I could remember there was a soft drink competition you, the fastest person who drink the soft drink yeah. And there were different categories. Well, actually, okay. I think there, were, there would have been a male, senior, junior, and uh, a female category. And uh, I could recall two brothers winning the senior and the junior for about two, three years straight. I'm not going to tell you that I would have been one of those brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tell you that. But before time really slipping away, Zach, and 
the aquatic sports, I think it has been coming bigger and bigger, bigger over and bigger, the yes. years because it's an attraction. It's something that people look forward to. And, uh, and people have to learn to appreciate um, um, how we're getting it done. And not only that, but all of the gifts are there on the table. Exposed, I always insist, don't wrap nothing. Mm -hmm. Watch phones. Uh, in fact, quotes, I gave a TV one year there. And the guy just took up the TV when he went, put it on his head, and he gone. I mean, this is the kind of thing. Nothing they're hiding. Everything transparent. Mm -hmm. We have quotes, our major sponsor. They'll be there again. TDC, home, home and building depot on the Greece. The Greece is significant, a five-gallon thing. We have scenic railway. They give scenic railway tours. You know, so to some of the athletes and the money for the pole in the in the sand. I'll address that matter this evening with Roberts. Roberts is a nice, nice mm -hmm. guy. He's a serious, serious guy. We have stage lighting up the gut. He always prefer the trophies. Uncle T's, as I indicate. The buoy, they provide tents down there. A whole ton of drinks, as was indicated by Andrea. They say 60 years, so they, they're doing something special. And they also pay for the band that is there in the afternoon. Okay. They always put mm. in $600 in it. So mm. we are going to get a nice band down there in the afternoon to jam. We want different little things. Somebody got creative things, they'll just come to let me know. We'll have you down there. We have the, the, the Coast Guard. They're always there. The EMS service, they're always there. The Red Cross, they're there already. The, um, the police, they'll be there in their numbers. And the gifts... We always make sure that I'm, I steady or somebody steady because people always want to steal. We're making sure that I have people there when we're overlooking that aspect. And I want to thank Miss Sengers. And I want to make sure that last year Miss Sengers had a problem. When she came down, a lady came in front of her and blocked her. I don't want it to happen because Miss Sengers to contribute every single year. She donate the food to the Coast Guard to the EMS service, to the Red Cross, to everybody, and drinks. Every single year, she okay. gives them. And that is not an easy treat, and that is a good gesture. So I want them to make sure your space is available and make sure the people patronize her. Because to do that for the past years, I think that is something good. We send just cells by TDC. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not only that, I want to thank all those persons who assist me and who will be there again. It's going to be bigger. It's going to be sweeter. Do not go down there to mash up the people them um, new terminal. I want you to make that a bundle declare. I'm going to ask Mr. Bridgewater as usual for some bins. I want to make sure that is safe. And to the ZIZ, they are coming down. Everything is in place. It's just a matter of picking up the gifts when the right time comes. Chinatown, one year they gave a television, you know. Mm -hmm. And, and see uh, what you call the place, the Sun Island Close. A lot of gifts. These people, um, Uncle T's, what not? What the place their name? Diamond, Sec Diamond Security. They give cash. Hobson's Enterprise, um, Demerara Distillers. Um, what the place their name? Down the bed here, the, the KFC, KFC Domino's. A lot of stuff that they get lime. They get phone. They get um tap flow. Ups. When you say lime, you mean flow? Flow, flow. Mm -hmm. Yes, but they give a lot of stuff. So all these things I'll be. Getting because the letters went out a long time ago. My program is already set long, long time ago. And this long is the time first ago. time, Zach, that the event is being held since the ferry terminal would have been renovated and upgraded. It's yes, so that's why I'm begging the people, please don't go down and go match up the people and thing. Don't it, the swimmers and so will come in to race and so and going for the ham and so, but we don't want anybody misbehaving and so we are going to be very tough and tight on that. The police will be there. We are not thanks to Mr. Creeley and his men. They're always there in numbers, and we want to thank them, the Red Cross, and so big time. Mm. So that is for now. And then I'll be coming to you regularly about it. It's on uh, ZIZ up front. Maybe tonight mm. they're showing it. And then but just behind that, we have something else. Zach, and we're almost getting at the cutoff point at 1.30. Yeah. You indicated that you have been in culture a long time, and persons since they've known Zach, Zach has had been involved in the museum business yes. for years. And in previous conversations, you have indicated that 
students have from the high schools have come to you for SBS? Not only high school, the primary schools with their projects mm. and everything overseas as well. And you mentioned even persons in universities. Yes. Wanted information to assist with the thesis. Yes. And Zach has now relocated. Yes. And there is a talk about Zach and a grand opening of something. Could you tell us some more about that? Try what I have to say, and let me say it openly, I won't abuse anybody, but a bad wind never blow. Mm -hmm. You always say that saying, and so trust me, saying, yeah. a bad wind really <laughs> never blow. Mm -hmm. So there are some who feel like nothing could happen good. And, you know, sometimes people get a downfall yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of because of something, all. pettiness and grudgery and that sort. But when they think that you're down and you're down six feet, sometimes you rise 20 times higher. Correct. That six feet. Mm. And I'm a very strong person. And trust me, my thing is positive determination and the will and the creative ability to get things done. Not for me, but for St. Kitts in general and the wider Caribbean and the world. And I have an opening coming up. I want to thank certain people. I'll be thanking them when I have the opening. And you are the one going to do the vote of thanks. I have it down. We have already sent out letters. And let me say here openly that the Prime Minister will be doing my feature address up there. Okay. He has already confirmed that. Not only that, in the letter I indicate to him that he can work with the cabinet members. Okay. And what the is that you're talking about? This what is, is this happening? This is Where the, the and when is the, what happening? The official opening of the Zach's historical cultural library and museum. It's something with a different story. Trust me. It's going to be educational. We're going to have, um, you're going to see reading material. We are going to have people like Tatum coming in on occasion. In fact, I was just speaking to him downstairs before we came back. He'll be teaching reading. He's an English expert. He said he preferred to teach reading. We have somebody coming in and teaching maths and then twice a week. And so it's a comprehensive. When you do come in there, you're going to see what is happening. Artifacts, everything. We have the programs already laid out. We have persons like Dr. Eustace Rollins. I haven't gotten in touch with him properly yet, but he's always there. He will be opening, evoking God's blessing. I have um, the program relates to, um, we have the, the, the representative of the area, Mr. Convis Maynard. We have people like Mr. Al Edwards. He will be the, the permanent secretary in sports. And I have something to say about him. He is going to be shocked and stunned. Trust me. Um, these are people, when you're down and so, you have to give credit where credit is due. Mm -hmm. Try. Definitely. Do, don't, care, don't care what people say. Correct. You have people like um, the minister for the Anglican Church. What's his name there? Cassius. Mm -hmm. He said, I was raised upside there. You don't care, Tiali, and I want to do a history of you. So he has already gotten his invitation. Mr. Conrad Kelly, he will be giving a whole history of the estates. You know, he worked there all his life. Mm -hmm. And he actually raised up on the, es the same estate. Okay. And then I have... Scully, he was the president of the Cricket Association, saying his Cricket all Association. All sorts of things. And he is a gentleman of mm. class. Um, people like Reginald George will be invited. I have a lot of distinguished people. I wouldn't say yet, but they are, they are going to be there. I've already given out um, the invitations. I have some invitations that I'm, I'm taking my time mm -hmm. and sorting out the proper people to give him the neighbors, some of them, and then we have... Um, Zach, can I ask you to stick a pin as yes. we have to go to the sponsors, have to go yes. to Flo, Quotes, SL Horsfords, and KFC, and tell them thank you for allowing us to bring voices yes. to you. I'll take a small... Double XL! That's the size for me! Lil's new prepaid combo plans have the most choice and value for everyone. Save up to 90% by combining your talk, text, and data into one simple plan. And with options starting at just $19.99, it's easy to say it, type it, or share it. A whole lot more for a whole lot less. Dial star 129 pound now to activate. The bigger you go, the bigger you save with Flow's new prepaid combo plans. This is how we flow. How does it feel? Gotta go into March. 
Yes. What? Quartz Plus Automotive's big Gotta Go February only sale. Gotta go. We're marching into March with more great savings. It's, it's Quartz Plus Automotive Gotta Go March clearance sale. All 2017 models gotta go. That's right. Come to Quartz Plus Automotive and get up to $15,000 off 2017 models. That's right. Quartz Plus Automotive is making room for 2018 by offering up to $15,000 off 2017 models. That's up to $15,000 off on all 2017 vehicles. And that's not all. Are you serious? Come now and get 0% down payment. No payment until April 2018. $500 free groceries. Free servicing for one year. Free bill of sale. Free tenting. Free registration. Free accessories. Free licensing. It's worth the automotive. Gotta go clearance sale. The biggest sale of the year. All 2017 vehicles priced to clear. Every 2017 vehicle. Gotta go. Terms and conditions apply. See store for details. Thank you. Thank you, Flo Quartz, SL Horsfords. Thank you, KFC, for ensuring that we are able to bring voices to you here on WinFM 98.9. I am Troy Biffmans from the Department of Culture, and we are honored to have with us our guest, Mr. Winston Zach Nilsbit, MH. Medal of Honor, the Doctor of Culture. And as we have just a few more minutes, Zach, you were briefing us on the opening of the Zach Historical and Cultural Library Museum. Yes. And Troy, let me tell you, that is why I asked you to do the vote of thanks, because you are intimately involved in the cultural thing, and you are pushing me a lot. Trust me, and I want to make sure that I have the right people. And you know the good thing about it? I met the Prime Minister last year, talking to a function there. And I said to him like that, come with me, I want to show you something, what I'm doing. Because I built up a couple little things and set it up. And get from, thanks to Kawaja and the other guy there with the back on, so clean off the whole front. And let me tell you something. <coughs> I said to the Prime Minister, he was there. That's Mr. Harris. I said, look, this is a new project I'm doing here. And I want you to come and see what I do. Immediately he turned off, you know. Mm -hmm. He turned off and come down with Prime me. Minister. Yes, and okay. he spent a good while there. And he kept up, you build up that? You do this? He had a full tour. And he was satisfied with what he saw. You understand me? Mm -hmm. Because when you see what I'm doing in terms of the educational aspect of things and the categorizing and the documenting and so, he was very impressed. You understand? Mm -hmm. And now I spoke to him about the opening and he consented. He said, look, I'm not inviting the ministers by themselves. You have the responsibility to invite them. You understand? To bring them there. Because I want, it's something big for St. Kitts. It's mm -hmm. not for St. Kitts, it's for the wall. It's a 1935 mm -hmm. right place. We have some of the, the equipments laid out. We are going to have them labeled. It's a serious piece of thing. You know. And coming just after the, the Black History Month as well. Yes, I have um, Mr. Lindsey Grant came there to visit me as well. He was there one morning. Mr. Morton was there. Michael Morton came there. He had a two. You know, so it's not fully, the, but it's going to be fully ready for the thing. We have everything. But that what, what really caused you to get into this thing, opening up a museum, a cultural life? The love and the passion for our people and for the country. Because... A country without, um, without what you call its history, it's like nothing. And my thing is that to create that environment and that niche for our cultural heritage. And you will be seeing, Troy, pictures of those persons who we honor that the fisherman's wharf. That's over, over a number of years, 83, it was 83 mm -hmm. to 88, mm -hmm. over, over 365 persons. Wow. And persons of importance in our cultural field, histories, you'll see them line out up there and putting in a lot of work. I want to thank Mr. Terence Dolphin too, because sometimes you're down in town and he makes sure when he carrying home his staff, he carry me home first, then drop them right in front of me door. So I want to thank him for that. That's a big thing. He don't leave, he don't turn off without his situate that are going inside. Is that and that is a big input. Where and when is the, the opening of this? The opening will be held on Saturday, the seventh at four o'clock in the afternoon. Seventh of when? Seventh of April. April. So okay. that, that's Just after, that. after the Monday, mm -hmm. the, the thing, the Saturday. The Monday. We'll be having the Zach String Band playing the national anthem. 
we'll be having the a cultural group or two, and you indicated that you all will pay for that. Probably might have either the plot the ribbons so that people can see all the mummies. One mm-hmm. of them will be there to intersperse. And then we have the cutting of the ribbon. I have a special person who will be cutting the ribbon, but I haven't spoken to them yet because it's like a surprise. Okay. I've spoken <laughs> to the family. And so, so then I can't in- encourage you to tell us who the post no, is. It's an edu- <laughs> try, listen, it's an educational thing. Mm. You could come there, you have homework, you have a lot of reading material, a lot of books, a lot of things, important information, pictures of how Bastia was, how Sadler's. These, these are the sort of things you'll be getting. No foolishness. This is something think it will welcome, and the tourists will be circulating there. We just want a little clean up to the front. There's a little entrance there. I'm not satisfied with that, mm. but I've spoken to the guy, the, the neighbor. In fact, I've given him an invitation as well. What, what are the opening hours at? The opening hours will be, I believe, like from 9 right down to, to 5. The, you know, the tourists will be coming because they have more than enough history. There is a mill on the estate. Mm. I've gotten a guy to put back in the stones and so. Oh, and we try to put a staircase in it. A stage is b- to the back. Mm-hmm. I mean, a garden and that's. It's a serious, serious piece of thing. And the you know. days of opening, you mentioned 9 to 5, but what days? We'll be opening almost every day. Okay. Except this Sunday, we might just take a little relax. Yeah, to go to your church and. Yeah, we'll be teaching people how to do the cassava bread, mm-hmm. how to do the conky. Bringing back the, the, the memories, you know, and the doing guava. I was. Present with a lady there down um, Tabernacle doing guava. She was bu- um, thinking guava, signed up, Henny Bing. And I got her to, she'd be teaching some in the Saddler School, the uh, children. Mm, because Zach, you always have to be positive. We're just about out of time, Zach, and <laughs> I definitely would have to thank you. And this is sounding like something that we have to be back again because when it comes to culture, yeah. Right. That is why Winifem has formed the partnership with the Department of Culture. We could mm-hmm. never have enough time to talk about culture. Yeah. And I really want to thank you for taking time out to be with us today, Zach. I want to thank the callers. I want to thank you, the listeners, for tuning in to Winifem 98.9. And uh, my engineer on duty, Daddy T. I keep forgetting. I cannot forget him. And, of course, the sponsors for this afternoon's session, Flow Quotes, SL Horsfords and Company Limited and the KFC Zach. Yes. I want to thank them. I give you five seconds to yes. say something. Troy, I want to say, I want to say that people, in fact, Jabu called me the other day. Jabu said, Look, I'm donating a pot of rice. Oh, that's another lady that's good said, stuff. Look, I want to see you get your don't want to see you fail. I'm going to be contributing a lot of drinks, um, all sorts of things with rolls and so. Call me seriously. You know, so sure, yeah, it, good people it's, it's out there. Got, it's got to be a wonderful event. What do you mean? It's we, something we, we thank all those persons. And again, <laughs> I encourage you to tune into WinFM tomorrow. God spare at 11 o'clock for another edition of Voices. And of course, next week, Tuesday, for Cultural Tuesday. I am Troy Biff Mills. Thank you for listening. And of course, I encourage you to always be positive in your thoughts, in your words. And in your actions, good luck to all the athletes in the TDC Inter School, Inter High School Championships weekend. I'll take a small. Double XL! That's the size for me! Lowe's new prepaid combo plans have the most choice and value for everyone. Save up to 90% by combining your talk, text, and data into one simple plan. And with options starting at just $19.99, it's easy to say it, type it, or share it. A whole lot more for a whole lot less. Dial star 129 pound now to activate. The bigger you go, the bigger you save with Flow's new prepaid combo plans. This is how we flow. How does it feel? For the flavor, the feeling you get when you taste every bite. Oh, when you taste the light, so good it tastes just like a glass of beer. So good it tastes like March Madness continues at courts with late night madness. Shop on March 23rd and 29th from 5 p.m. until 8 p.m. and get huge savings on products like the Franklin TV stand was $7.99, now $5.99. Save $200. Plus, Doughbuster starting at only $5. Courts must be crazy. Courts mad again. Courts bringing value home. Extra, extra, wheels all about it. Yeah.
It's Hortsfoot's Automotive Extra Special Sale on all 2017 Nissan buses. In addition to the already low gotta go price, for March only, we will offer four free tires with every purchase. That's right, you'll get four brand.